Okay. Oh, hello everyone. Um, well, I'm gonna be streaming here in about 15, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. But um, I forgot to do this yesterday, but I saw this uh, I saw this article on Medium, which is something I totally related to here. I read a little part. I read a little part of it, but not the whole thing. So some of it's gonna be somewhat rehearsed. Um, but I'll I'll just go ahead and do what I usually do. I'll just run down the whole run down the whole article here and just do my own commentary on it. Um, it's things I wish I knew before losing weight. For those that don't know, I probably say about I probably say about a couple years ago. Um, I I weighed about 210 pounds and had a pretty big, hefty sized gut. I mean, not as not as much as back in my back in my 20s when I weighed as much as 260 and I had like a had a big old monster belly. Um, but still, you know, still pretty sizable. I just got sick and tired of it one day and then started, just embarked on a weight loss campaign. Um, eventually, in the span of about a year, I got my weight down from 210 to 150. So yeah, 60 pounds, to me, pretty impressive, although some have lost even more during that span of time. But, but anyway, um, but like I said, this article here, I'm just going to do some commentary on it, so let's get started. Yeah. It's a path we expected to be easy. Uh, no. This I didn't find to be true at all. Um, I read somewhere many years ago that one pound of fat can fuel up to eight hours of aerobics. So generally speaking, dieting aside, once you get it, you're stuck with it. Unless you want to do like eight hours of jumping jack, eight hours of jumping jacks to, just to get rid of that one pound of fat. Um, so it's pretty much down to your diet, what it is you're eating. Because it's, it's a slow climb, but a fast fall. I just saw this though. This is one of the reasons why I think um, weight loss should be um, it should be down to you. No one should uh, no one should go with you into doing this. None of them can pick you up or none of them can pick you up and carry you, even though they're not weighed down by all the equipment in your backpack. I mean, all the you know, all too easy to try to help somebody with their problems when they're not your own. I'm gonna, like I said, I don't have much time, so I'll move along. How expensive this will be? Yes. Yep. Um, I bought a whole bunch of workout equipment. Uh, bought a bunch of weights. Bought, um, bought a few barbells. Bought a few dumbbells. Uh, bought a workout bench. I mean, that pretty pricey right there. I probably spent at least 200 bucks just on that alone. Um, not to mention all the I'm trying to think, but yeah, you, you, you get the idea, though. Gained a lot of weight for a lot of reasons. It wasn't. It wasn't because you were lazy and accidentally got fat. I freaking hate this. You know, I again, it, I mean. I mean, if you if you chow down on a lot of food, I mean, it, I basically classify that as an addiction. I mean, you, you know, to me, an addiction is an addiction. Whether whether you're shooting up heroin or eating ten packages of chocolate chip of chocolate chip cookies a day or something, you know, it, they're to me they're both addictions. Same, you know, same thing with food. I mean, you don't. You know, just because somebody's fat doesn't mean they're lazy. I mean, 
There's probably a lot more people like me. You want to lose weight, but I mean, you don't want to stop eating either. So you kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Yippers. Experience trauma. Um, there was a show I watched uh, with my sister and some of my other relatives. It was called My 600 Pound Life. But there was a guy on there. Uh, he was molested by his dad. I think he was bullied and be bullied and beaten and stuff like that. But he ended up becoming a food junkie. Like, he was just chowing down like He'd sit there and eat a whole apple pie in one sitting. He'd eat a he'd eat a whole plate full of burritos in one sitting and all that. He ended up uh, being around 600 pounds, but it wasn't because he was just lazy and you know he wasn't lazy and all that. He had too much trauma in his life. And yep, you'll have to join a group. Pay for therapy, visit a nutritionist, join a gym, buy equipment. This was mine right here. Yep. 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 This was something else, too. I basically had to buy a whole brand spanking new wardrobe. Because of, cause of the weight, because of me, I was losing weight. Going from uh, wearing size 40 clothes to size 34. Uh, going from wearing size double X, uh, size double X shirts to size medium. Even though, I, to be fair, I do have to stretch these out. Otherwise, it feels like I'm wearing spandex. Skin isn't isn't going to always go back. Um, comes from scroll through Instagram and see flat stomachs. All right, I'm I'm really running out of time right now, so I'll just look at the headlines. Your skin isn't always going to go back. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, my part of my I think part of my uh, part of my gut. It's at, it's at, uh, I think it's at 35 and a half inches right now, but I'll bet a good chunk of that is just flab. It isn't actually fat. Um, now, back when I weighed 210, yeah, that gut was all fat. Like, there was no, I mean, there was no, no flab or loose skin at all, whereas now, part of my gut is loose skin, so... Um, actually, in my case, it's different. Most everybody else in my family are all, are also losing weight, especially my sister. Her brother-in-law is, or brother, her husband is dying of a disease called amyloidosis or something like that. I don't know how it's pronounced, but his kidneys have shut down because of it. So my sister had to get fit so she could, um, so she can donate her kidney to him to buy him some time. But, you know, as far as my co-workers go, when I mention weightlifting, they kind of, they kind of look at me funny, like, you mean this job isn't enough of a workout? I'm like, no. Uh, compared to what I do at home? No. So, I kind of alienated some of my co-workers, though. Yes. Yes, right here. I don't want to lose what I've gained. Or I don't want to gain what I've lost, depending on how, you, on how you look at it. Yes. I tend to obs I'm starting to obsess over this, too. i got to be careful with what I eat because, like I said, it's a slow climb, but it's a fast fall. This is something I'm definitely going to have to remember right here.
Yep. Yep. I mean, I... I mean, I still stay away. I mean, I don't drink pop. Um... I don't... I don't know. Generally speaking, or I am, for the most part, a vegan. I don't really... I don't eat dairy. I don't... The most meat I'll eat would be like a turkey sandwich or a tuna sandwich. But that's about it. Like, I don't... I hate red meat. I've hated it ever since I was a little kid. Um, I'm not... Can't remember the last time I had a burger. Can't even, can't even remember the last time I ate out. And I used to do that at least once a week. So... Nope. If anything, I was more happier uh, back when I was pigging out. That was when I was happier. Um, these days, again, it's... I'm more strict and regimented about it now. Um, it's It tends to become a contest of wills when I see something that I actually want to eat. But I know that uh, the moment I do, um, I'm probably going to gain at least a pound. And I'm probably going to gain like a half inch on my gut or something like that. But like I said... It's it's like it's like mountain climbing. I mean, climbing that mountain, it's a total bitch, man. Maybe like a, maybe gaining like a foot a minute or something. But hey, like you can always let go. <laughs> it's gonna be a fast fall. Ah, to your death. So. Yep. Okay, but it... Definitely agree with that. I mean, because, uh... Losing weight was... I had, a, I had an epiphany on... I had an epiphany on it, but it, like I said, I have to break off here in a moment and start streaming, so, but just, the highlight is, the highlight's pretty much with mine as well. I don't know how you do it, though. But, screw it. Yeah, but it looks like, uh, that's it for the article. Um, I gotta go ahead and break off now, and I have to get my Grim Dawn stream going, so. Thanks for watching, everybody, and see you all next time.